Hi, hello. Uh, today I would like to do a demonstration about uh, BP Fire uh, XDP uh, SIM proxy acceleration under DBDK packaging uh, 10 gigabit uh, SIM flood attack. So I actually ha ha has an issue open here to recorded the screenshot for this test environment. So for example here, I have a uh, two uh, Dell server, which is uh, the lower end of uh, a Dell. It, one is Power Edge R220. Another one is uh, Power Edge uh, R210. It's like a 10 years old uh, 1U uh, uh, mini server. So you can see this picture here. I have a, a 10 Intel 10G Intel uh, dual port uh, network card with fiber collection between them back to the back. Okay. So the top ones is the, the top one Dell server runs the BP Fire uh, again, which is a fork of IP Fire project, but I extended with the kernel uh, XDP feature, so uh, XD, so XDP programmer can write XDP program for fast packet filtering. Okay. So yeah, so I have every screenshot here in this uh, uh, in under this uh, BP Fire repo with uh, this uh, issue, and uh, you can see here uh, with uh, BP Fire with XTP SIM proxy acceleration, uh, we got a throughput of uh, six point six four gigabit. Uh, per second. So here is the CPU usage, uh, mostly used by the IRQ C CPU IRQ, and uh, 86%, uh, 89%. So this is a perf top, uh, which shows the actual kernel function consuming the CPU cycles here. So f with XDP acceleration, you can see uh, Syncook XDP program uh, use most of the CPU cycles, and uh, and then uh, all those IXGB is the uh, Intel I Intel NIC driver, right? So this is an example of a BP fire with a IP tables same proxy uh, without. XTP acceleration. Here the throughput is uh, uh, 231 megabit per second. And uh, you can see the screenshot here. I did not enable the XTP acceleration. And so compare the throughput. One is 231 megabit. Uh, but here with acceleration, here is a 6.6. .6 uh gigabit gigabit okay so huge difference i mean i i don't know if there is any uh, tooling in the ip tables same proxy but uh that's the default uh, throughput i got so the without xtp acceleration the cpu IRQ is a little uh, slightly higher. So here is the 95%. Here is a hundred percent. So I have two uh, CPU cores total. So yeah, it's uh, about 10% higher than the uh, XTP acceleration. So here is a perf top to show the uh, kernel functions consuming the CPU cycles. Uh, that makes sense here is the top one is IP table do table function. That's the IP table let filter. And, uh, and here the same proxy target 
match match target that's for the uh, let filter sim proxy modules so this is without xdpx generation the throughput uh, is lower only 230 megabit uh, irq cpu irq is a little higher okay so with that, I'm actually going to do you a, a live demo to for this uh, test. So here again is my BP fire running on the Dell server with the Intel 10G network card. And uh, let me show you the web UI here. So this is the web UI in the firewall rule. I set up the uh, NAT port forwarding to a backend uh, server running on port 80. So here I checked the uh, use XDP SIM proxy acceleration. Here I, I probably should have renamed this. Here it, it doesn't, uh, it's just to set up the IP table rules for the port forwarding with the uh, SIM proxy modules. Uh, with this IP table sim proxy modules, it does not enable the the XTP acceleration. It's just the set up the IP table rules. So here I can show you the IP table rule. Okay, so without uh, the sim proxy module, uh, uh, just for port forwarding, you would get a, a IP table rule like this. Okay, but uh, with uh, with the IP table sim proxy, uh, we added a set a two a rule uh, per port. So this is uh, uh, this is the uh, IP table rule set up in the raw table, and uh, the second one is set up. Uh, uh, IP table rules for sim proxy in the input chain, input, uh, oh, sorry, in the filter table input chain. So this is in the raw table pre route chain. Okay, so that's what I did for setting up a sim proxy. Uh, it, it tested, uh, I tested working. So, okay, so we don't have a XDP. Program acceleration. I can show you here. Uh, okay, so we actually has attached. Let's disable that. Let's disable. We go to the XDP DDoS protection. Let's disable this. Save. So now no more XDP program attached to Red Zero interface. Let's run again. So from the command line, no more XDP program attached. So let's do this first, uh, testing first, uh, without XDP acceleration. Here, uh, here is my uh, DBDK packed uh, gene and software uh, that I forked. And uh, so I customized this X, this packaging uh, with uh, uh, that can send a, a start a sim flooding attack. So first, let's start this packaging program. And uh, so let's load uh, my sim flood uh, test. So here we have destination IP changed to the IP uh, BP BP fire a uh, red zero interface. Uh, the destination port is eighty, and uh, so once I start it, uh, we will see a packet flowing here. So let's start. Start at zero port zero DBTK port zero. Okay, now it's started. So megabits here, RX, TX, zero, RX, TX, nine, about a nine, five, seven, zero. So here it's probably about a nine gigabit 
per second uh, throughput. Okay, so now let's look at the let's look at the IP fire BP fire here, and uh, you can see here it's two about a two two six megabit per second. So that's the throughput uh, with the IP table as a same proxy module. Okay. No XDPX generation. And uh, let's look at the terminal here. Uh, yeah, we can look at the we can look at the system graph. Uh, you can see here uh, the pink corner is the IRQ CPU usage. Uh, actually, we let's look at it from the terminal. Maybe it's not a fresh. Let's uh, fresh it again. Yeah, we can look at the command line here. So I believe this is the CPU usage, IRQ, CPU 0, like 100%, CPU 1, around 88, 89%. Yeah, that's mostly used by the IRQ. So this is on hardware, right? And uh, we can also look at the perf top to look at the kernel function symbols that are consuming uh, CPU cycles here. So again, it matches the, the screenshot I got, right? So this is IP table, a letter filter, IP do table, kernel function, 80%. And the bottom here is the sim proxy module, IP table sim proxy module. So others are mostly are kernel functions, right? So all those are consuming the real CPU cycles in the kernel software, in the kernel stack. Okay? So now let's uh, enable the XDP. Let's enable XDP, X generation. Enable here, save. So we can see here the XDP program is attached to the red zero interface, right? Red zero interface. We can look at it here too. XDP loader status. So here shows the XDP zero. Uh, no, X, red zero XDP, a single XDP program attached. Now let's look at the throughput again. You notice here is a 6.6 .6 gigabit with a much higher throughput than the IP table same proxy, right? So we can look at the top again. You see the IRQ CPU CPU is slightly lower. And not reduced too much, but uh, slightly lower than the IP tables in proxy. That's for the IRQ CPU. And uh, so here is the kernel function consuming CPU cycles, and most of it is in the driver. See so here, 69. So most of the CPU cycles is consumed by the XDP program in the, in the driver. 
right? So those are the kernel driver uh, pull, a kernel network driver, 10G network driver pulls. So you don't see a, you don't see much in the IP tables net filter, right? And the, those flood impact uh, dropped in the driver and you get a much higher throughput. Yeah. So anyway, so this is a, a, a test specific uh, to this uh, to this environment with the two real hardware uh, without any uh, tuning, hardware tuning, kernel tuning. Just everything is by default, and uh, with and without XDP acceleration. Yeah. So thanks for watching.